The electric vehicle market has been rapidly expanding, and the key to promoting electric vehicles lies in making charging infrastructure accessible to all. Domestically made vehicle companies are stepping up efforts to establish more charging stations, providing better services for car owners, and ensuring that charging difficulties do not hinder the adoption of EVs. Currently, we've installed charging piles at locations, such as department stores, wholesale stores, and golf courses. Essentially, wherever electric vehicles can reach, we strive to install charging infrastructure at as many accessible places as possible. Data shows that as charging infrastructure becomes more widely available and convenient, electric vehicle sales see a significant boost. In Taiwan, the electric scooter dominator, Gogolo, saw a surge in sales after establishing over 2,000 battery swapping stations. As soon as this extensive network was in place, the sales of their electric scooters began to rise. As Taiwan aims to achieve net zero emissions by 2050, the government is taking steps to increase the adoption of EVs. By 2040, all new cars sold in the market are expected to be fully electric. However, the widespread use of EVs faces challenges due to the limited number of charging stations, currently fewer than 4,000 across Taiwan. In Taiwan, fully electric vehicles have skyrocketed from 850 in 2018 to over 10,000 in 2022, a 12-fold increase in five years. With EVs set to dominate the market, more charging stations are essential for a greener future. It requires a significant investment to make charging infrastructure widely accessible. We can see that some charging station operators in North America are currently operating at a loss. Major companies are now eagerly entering the EV and charging market. With the subsidies provided by the government, the ambitious goal of phasing out the sale of new gas-powered cars and scooters by 2040 might become a reality. Cui Zhongqun, Liu Yanshan, Huang Qihou, TVBS World Taiwan.